Today, Angelo is going to tell us about a great way to attract butterflies and hummingbirds to your yard, right, right where you can enjoy them. Angelo, yeah. how are you, sir? Great, great. We, you know, we did uh, annuals, mm -hmm. which you have to plant every year. But these these are perennials, perennials will come back they every come year. They come back every year. So in the same thing there, the yellows, the blues, the reds, the pinks, those are their favorite. And also on the flowers that they have to where they can get their beak in. So something know. like over here, yeah. this right here, yeah. the hummingbirds would the, really like. They would love that. They okay. love the salvias. Salvias they like? You know, the carnations. Oh, carnations, that's great. They're uh, fragrant too. Coreopsis, you know, uh, the uh, daisies, uh, phlox, uh, the bleeding hearts, they love these. And a lot of these things are in bloom all summer long, so yeah. it'll keep them coming back. Yeah, the thing that you know, the one thing that you want to keep in mind about perennials, 80% of them, they keep, they, they are rebloomers. When they, you know, about 75% bloomed out, cut them back, halfway. Osmocotum. Osmocotum. And they will be right back. And right behind me, I have Wygelia. This is Shrubs. Red Prince. This is a tree form of Red Prince. And you the can hummingbirds just, love it. You will have a flock. And these, uh, Perfect. you know, look at the flowers that they have on them, and they, they bloom all summer. They bloom off and on all summer. Awesome. So, Thanks, Angelo. A lot there to Hummingbirds and butterflies love them, so will you.